Kelly from Keeping Money Jazzy, where I share my budget plans as well as my slow and steady rates to become debt free. So I'm back with you guys with another weekly check-in for week number two. All right, guys. So for this week, it went from October the 7th through October the 14th. And we're just going to hop on into these good old numbers. So last week, I left off here, but I decided to do a weekly budget tracking thing on this page um, because I don't see myself spending a whole lot of money for the rest of the month. So this is what I did. I had week one. Week one was from September the 30th through October the 7th. And we were left with the remaining of $51. We did go over in the household and the spending. And I had unbudgeted for my epidemic sale. For some reason, I got $51.09. But I know that it was $51.51. $51, but I got to figure that out. But that's what we were left with. And I stated that the only thing I really needed was groceries. So with this money is what I was going to spend on groceries. And let's see where the money went. All right, so. Okay, so for week two, or on 10, eight, I did some parking. No, yeah, so there's nothing there. Did some parking, I went downtown. Parking, and that was just $1. And on the same day, I actually went to a chicken and seafood spot. And that was eating out category. And this was for Sixteen dollars and ninety four cents, and on ten ten, um, I went to Costco's, and um, that's for groceries, and I spent thirty seven dollars and fifty five cents. Then I wanted to treat myself to something sweet. Um, so on October the 12th, I went to a frozen yogurt place called Sweet Frog. And I put that under food or eating out. And that was $4.61. And then on the same day, I got some gas. And that was $24.40. And guys, I have a little car. And I remember when I could fill up with just $15. Now it's $25, like almost double of what I used to pay uh, over a year ago. So that's, that's crazy. All right. So the total... Um, so down here, I'm going to put the week. And I had no spend days for the other two days. And for week number two, it was from 10, 8 to 10, 14. And the total for I spent for week number two is $85, $85. And remaining course. So we're gonna do 85 minus the 51, 51. And we were over by, put this in red, we're over by 
and 49 cents for week two. So we're going to come on over to this page and we're going to plug in, actually I'm going to need to do this. We're going to plug in these numbers. So for food, let me see, I spent 1694 plus 37.55 plus 4.61 and I spent a total of 59 dollars and 10 cents and we did do gas which was 24 dollars and 90 cents nothing for household nothing for spending and nothing for unbudgeted so oh you know what this will actually be 25 i'm sorry because of the one dollar for parking so this is 25.90 so let's make sure i have everything counted for so i have the 24.90 plus the dollar 25.90 and sixteen ninety four plus the four point sixty one plus the thirty seven fifty five. Okay, fifty nine dollars and ten cents is what was spent, and we're gonna do total here. And we had actually, no, I'm gonna leave it there. Total, and we had a total of. Coming in was $51 and I'm going to say 51 cents. I know this is off somehow, but I'll figure it out. And so $59 and 10 cents plus the $25 and 90 cents equals the $85 that was spent. And over here, we're going to do 59.10 minus the 51.09. And we went over by $8.01. And this one was $25.90. And here, there is nothing, nothing, and nothing. And we're going to do 51.51 minus the 85. That leaves a balance of negative $33.49. Okay. Not too bad. I really wish that I didn't need to get a uh, no little gas. But it, I did. Something that I need to get around. But that's okay. So for next, for the next week, we're going to do... We only have, let me see. So I had budgeted for the whole month was $300. And we have spent $233.49. So that means I only have $66.51 for the rest of the month. Oh my gosh, guys. This is tight. This is so tight. So... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so for, we're going to put week number three here, and we're just going to put food, gas, house, spend, and unbudget. And it's going to go from October the 15th to October the 20th or 21st 21st and for this week we have $66.51 we're going to see how I make this work y'all um I I am determined that I will not dip into my savings for any money 
to spend this month. And also, I also will be getting a paycheck. Um, today, well, actually tomorrow. Today's the 14th. So we'll be, I'll be getting a paycheck tomorrow. And like I said before, it will have a bonus. It's my last paycheck from my job. And we're just going to rock with it. And hopefully I've had some extras in there that I'll be able to supplement to make this a hundred, maybe a hundred dollars for the week. We will see. But now we're going to go on over and pay my credit card. This is something new. And I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to pay my credit card. Now, just a preference that um, I you, you did use two credit cards because this groceries mess from Costco, so they only do you know, like a MasterCard or whatever. So I use my Visa card for here. So this is the only purchase that you will not see in my payment of um, on my credit card. But everything else you will pretty much see. And you'll also see maybe a couple different transactions on there that I just did that will post tomorrow. So I'm just going to put that in week three's budget. And that's it. Everything else I will, will be paid for. And I do have something that I purchased for someone else. And that's on there. And I will be paying that as well. So you guys... Before we do that, let me put in my no spin days. So I have a no spin here and no spin here. I spent on a 12. I did a no, no spin here. On the 13th and Thursday no spend so I'm doing pretty good on my no spend days my spending has slowed down some but I gotta get this eating under control y'all so let's hop on over to my capital one account so we can pay off this credit card all right All right, guys, so now I'm doing a voiceover to show you guys my transactions. And what I'm doing now is looking through my statement or my transactions for week one and week two. And the Walmart that you see, 2864, that was for someone else. And also the University Pharmacies, that's for someone else as well. And the Costco for $29.66 that's pending, that is for someone else. But all of the penny transactions will be for week um, three. So now I'm just verifying everything. And now I'm going to go in and make the payment. Making sure my accounts are correct. Chose today's date, which is the 14th. The current balance, which is $154.42. I made the payment and now we have my confirmation and that's it and I will see you guys in the next